begin at 5 o'clock, though, with possible links in multiple shootings that happened in recent weeks here in the city of Philadelphia. That's according to Philly Police. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the very latest. Good evening, Matt. Hey, Siaf and Natasha, good evening to you. Police have been looking for links in several recent shootings in Philadelphia, and as they continue to investigate, what is clear is the pain felt by those who have lost loved ones to gun violence. Security video released by Philadelphia police on Wednesday shows three suspects wearing dark clothing, masks, and latex gloves as they run from a vehicle and ambush a 19-year-old man, firing more than two dozen times, killing him. The victim's grieving mother identified him as Tamir Jones. He was a good kid. She says her son did not have a criminal record, but he was a father figure to his nieces and nephew. He has a three-year-old nephew that's asking for him every day. What do we tell him? He's used to seeing his uncle. Today, you can still see bullet holes left behind outside his apartment. It happened by 13th and Green Streets near Spring Garden back on September 26. <laughs> Days before, another shooting at 13th and Oxford Streets near Temple University injured an eight-year-old girl. Police have now linked a dark-colored Nissan Altima in that shooting to the vehicle involved in the shooting from September 26 that killed Jones. But police are still working to identify the gunman. They had masks on. We need to know who's under the mask. Parents, who's under the mask? You know, you, you know your children. You know them. Publicly, Philadelphia police have been tight-lipped over possible connections involving these and other shootings. We have nothing to report that says we have a definitive connection yet, uh, but we are continuing to, to look at, at this case as well as some others that have a similar MO. Jones's mother has this message to the suspects. Turn yourselves in. Stop terrorizing the city. And there is a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in each of those shootings. Reporting live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you very much.